So let's talk about some elliptic curves that are actually used in real-world systems, the so-called NIST curves. So, as we've seen elliptic curve diffeyelman, we need a standardization of a finite field, a curve equation or curve parameters, and a generator point that generates a large group or subgroup. So, that's such a standard, the NIST FIPS uh, 186.4 standard that standardizes such an elliptic curve called Curve P256 for use in cryptographic systems in the United States. So, this standard here says that all A parameters in the standard are minus 3 for the curve equation, right, this year, and the rest is in the standard. So P is the prime number that is being used for the finite field, N is the order of the generator, like how many points can he reach, uh, there are the X and Y values of the generator, there is the B value of the curve equation and there is a seed and a hash function output. Now these two values are somewhat odd and don't describe the curve itself, they describe how the curve was generated. Um, there's a quite differ difficult and complicated procedure how to generate these values like B for example. Um, but we won't go into detail here and it's not important for you. I just want to mention that this is only done so to show that that the, these parameters here, for example B, are not hand selected. That has historical reasons because people were afraid that these curves might be constructed in a way that makes it easy for a nation state to break the elliptic curve to Fialman and to counter that and to show that these parameters are not hand selected, they were generated with this bizarre procedure. Um, but you can forget all about it, you don't need to know how this procedure works. Um, the NIST curves were actually designed by the National Security Agency, which turned out to be problematic because since the Snowden leaks, we know for sure that the NSA actively puts backdoors in cryptographic standards in order to make it possible for them to crack cryptography that is being used around the world. So this was always a conspiracy theory, but since the Snowden leaks we know they do that. And people started to question NIST curves, uh, which led to further developments that we'll see in the next videos and weeks.